lack of requisite education and academic qualification are the reason why majority of people with disability PWDs are unable to secure competitive jobs in the labor market. In line with this, government at all levels have been urged to provide grants and necessary funding to help children and young adults with special needs to be integrated into society and live valuable lives. The advice was given by the founder of Autism Awareness Foundation, Omoteku Ayo Ulubude, at the end of a training to educate and empower young adults in, with disabilities who are often stigmatized and lack jobs. Uh, the spokesperson and other facilitators tax government to provide infrastructure and mobility aids that will make lives easier for the PWDS. You know, people with disabilities, most times they are stigmatized in the community and, you know, the lack of job. And that is why this skills acquisition is put together for people with, we have people who are hearing impaired, we have people who are on the wheelchair and so on and so forth. So the program today is to celebrate them and to give them a source of, you know, income as they go forth in their individual lives. Well, there are a lot of challenges that are faced by individual living with um, disabilities, either autism, um, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome and so on and so forth. Some of it is the um, challenge of accessibility, you know, going to school, either school, either work, anywhere. Sometimes our roads are not accessible in, in terms of maybe people living, using wheelchairs or people who are visually impaired. So the challenges are from school to getting a job and you know, if you don't get to school, how is it easy then to get employment, you know, in the long run? From a very young age, do not despise these children. Look at them as a gift that you can work with, that you can train. They all have skills. Even those that have behavioral challenges, even those with cerebral palsy on a wheelchair, they have skills, they have talents, they have gifts. And if we develop these gifts early enough, when they are getting older, we can fine tune it to make it into a vocation that they can use in their uh, adult life. The challenges they are facing are enormous. And one of it is social stigma. And another is social acceptance. And another, of course, like we say, is finance. So these three areas needs advocacy, either from organizations such as this, or from the individuals themselves, as well as provision of financial backing from philanthropists, from corporate organizations, and from the government. For children with autism, the convener was quick to advise parents and caregivers not to feel despondent or seek necessary support. Please don't treat children with disability at home. Don't think they are from maybe a punishment or they are witchcraft or they are possessed or something. Please bring them out for help and support. Reach out to NGOs. There are a lot of NGOs that are doing wonderful things to help bring out the skills and the, you know, the, 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 the ability of these children. This program is very important. This will help us to give us employment, make us employable. Because we are people living with disability. This formation will help us through this training to train us. Can I move closer to you? Help us to be able to do business by ourselves. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I've been exposed because um, I learned digital marketing. Prior before now, I had engaged myself in um, a little business which I started earlier this year uh, to support uh, my education as well. So, but I've been doing more of the physical delivery, uh, trying to sort for clients and all of that. And due to the fact that I'm also visually impaired, you know, it's not really easy to mix all of this together. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.